we're going to start our demonstrations with content databases. We're going to create a new content database through the user interface. And we're also going to try to create that content database through PowerShell. Uh, we're going to see how to create uh, site collections in the content databases and how we can control which content database a site collection is going to go into. We're also going to use some PowerShell commands to move a site collection from one content database to another. So let's go into a demo. We're going to start in central administration. And we'll go to application management. And here, notice the section on content databases. From here, we can click on Manage Content Databases. And we'll now see that we have two content databases, WSS Content and WSS Content 2. And from here, we can tell the current number of site collections in each and the maximum number of site collections that are allowed to go into that particular content database. Let's click on WSS Content. What's important from here, for example, you can find the database version. Sometimes there might be a mismatch, and this is a good place to go and find out what the version of the database is. So you might need to run an upgrade command to make sure that the schema is up to date. And usually that happens, uh, for example, if you installed a cumulative update but maybe didn't run the configuration wizard properly, or if you're moving a database from a different farm that might have been in a different version. So this is WSS content. And what I'm going to do is I'll set the maximum number of site collections to be exactly the same as the number of site collections in there. What we're saying is don't put any more site collections in WSS content. And let's do the same thing for our second content database. So at this point, we will not be able to create any new site collections anymore because there is no uh, there's limitations on the content databases, and so we'd have no place to put new site collections. So let's do the following. We're going to add a content database. And for example, we can say WSS content 3 is what we're adding. And we'll set the number of sites here as 8 and 10. So 8 is when we get the warning, and 10 is the maximum number of site collections. Now we're creating the content database, and this might take a little bit of time. And now you can see that we have a third content database, and currently the number of site collections is set to 0. Let's go ahead and try to create a new site collection and verify that it's actually going to go into that, site collect, uh, into that content database. So I'll do physics. We'll do departments, physics. Again, we'll select the team site. And then click OK. And so we're just creating a standard site collection, but we want to make sure uh, that by setting those maximum number of site collections in the other content databases, we're kind of forcing it to go into this particular content database. Otherwise, SharePoint would just do a proportional round robin um, population of the site collection. And now we see that the site collection creation finished. And we can go to Manage Content Databases. And you'll see that that site collection went into WSS Content 3. So just like we expected. Now let's open up PowerShell. And we're going to create a, a new content database through PowerShell. If we type in content database, notice that there's a number of commands that we can have. And so there is an USB content database command. And uh, so we're going to give it a name. And for example, I'll do content 6 which web application it's connected to. And it's ABC University. We just have mainly one uh, web application that we're using. Then for the database server, 
we're just going to do ABC University, which happens to be our database server. Uh, for the max site count, I'll do 10 and 8 for the warning. And let's insert this command. And let's just run it. We can always just run it directly. Again, this will take a little bit of time um, to execute. And when we're done, we can go to the central administration and verify that there is actually a content database there. And here we have the results. So WSS Content 6 was created in this web application on this server. And here is the ID. If we go to central administration and refresh, we can see that there is now WSS Content 6 as the database in here. Now, I would like to create a new site collection. And I would like to send that site collection still in WSS Content 3 instead of WSS Content 6. Well, if I did this through the user interface, I would have to mess with the maximum number of site collections. But let's try it through PowerShell. So we're going to create a new SP site. And we're going to provide the URL of the site first, just like we've done previously. We'll do ABC University. And for example, sites, home economics. And we're also going to provide all the other standard stuff, such as the name of this site, so home economics, and, and also the template. And that's going to be STS pound zero. But we're all, and um, and let's do owner alias too. Okay, so we've done all of this before, but how do we tell it which content database to go to? That's pretty easy. You just pass in the content database, and you specify what content database we want to put the site collection into. So here I'm telling this site collection to go into WSS Content three. So let's run the command. And um, that should put that site collection into the proper content database. So we'll wait for it to finish. And now it looks like it's done. And we can verify by going to, uh, to refresh. And you can see that. Um, WSS Content 3 now has two site collections in it. Now let's go back to PowerShell. And let's say I made a mistake. And so this home economics should have really been in WSS Content 6 instead of WSS um, Content 3 as we put it in there. To fix that, we can use move SP site command. And so this helps us move site collections from one content database to another. We do have to provide the URL of the site collection that we're moving. And then we also have to pr provide the destination database. And in our case, it's going to be WSS content 6. And then we can also say um, confirm. And we'll just do false. And it does say uh, that IES must be restarted before this change will take effect. Um, so let's just, uh, so before we start the IES, let's go and see if we refresh. We actually see already the change reflected in here. Uh, so WSS Content 6 does have a site collection. Um, and in fact, if we run a PowerShell command, uh, to get the SP sites for, uh, we can get the SP sites for a certain database. For example, we'll do get SP site. And notice that you can select a web application for which to get the SP sites or for a particular database. And if I do content six, it tells me which site collection is actually in that particular content database. 
Great. Now you've seen how the content databases are managed. So what else can we do?